Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I wanted to give you a quick first look and a tour at the new WhatsApp iOS 7 optimized app. Came out late last night, so this is the first chance I've had to have a look at it. Now, what you'll notice when you first switch it on, now you've missed it already, but the first thing it does is optimize it for iOS 7. It takes a couple of seconds and then it asks you um, if you want to have automatic iCloud chat history back up. Uh, enabled so at the moment it's disabled but you can choose to have it on daily weekly or monthly I'll use weekly because I don't really go on it that much now I'll tell you how many chats you've got this is your first screen obviously is your chat screen and you'll notice that it's very clean very white um, and basically looks like iOS 7 all the text is blue the lines only come up for about four-fifths of the way across the screen and all the thumbnails are circular um, you can go into your favorites list, um, which will look fairly similar to the rest of it. It's Again, it's got these circular uh, thumbnails, which you can see on there. Uh, you can change your status here, um, which I can say I'm available instead of whatever. Uh, can't talk, WhatsApp only, all the usual statuses on there. You've got your contacts, uh, which is just your regular contacts here. Chats, like I showed you already. Um, it, it looks fairly similar. This is exactly how I had it set up. But you can see that actually the images that show up are a lot bigger. The borders are a bit thinner. The text looks a little bit crisper. And what you'll notice is that the text uh, actually takes the size that you've set in your iOS default settings for the text size within messages. Um, and you can do all sorts of stuff like taking photos, choosing existing photos and videos, sharing locations, sharing your contact. Um, you can have you want to access the microphone you can speak um, yeah, you press and hold to record and then it does its thing a keyboard you'll notice is the iOS 7 transparent keyboard um, generally I mean this, in terms of feature list there's not much different um, not from what I can see right now anyway it'll tell you your net, network status in here you can change your profile you can use your Facebook info if you want to um, all sorts of other bits and pieces in here. Let's go to chat settings, see text size is default. Uh, like I said, you have to go into the actual iPhone's own default settings to change your text size. You can change your wallpaper. You've got a wallpaper library here if you want to use that. Um, or you can just go into your camera roll, choose any of your photos to use as a background, or go into a photo library. Like, uh, for instance, Photo Stream you could use chat backup you can do it like obviously you can do it right at the start but you can change it if you want to or you can just back up manually whenever you feel like it advanced settings is basically one there it's just last seen timestamp I'm not entirely sure why it gets its own little advanced piece of the menu but that's why it is but overall I mean you'll notice it looks a lot like iOS 7 uh, but apart from that, like I've already said, it, it kind of looks the same. <laughs> it's not massively different, but then it's a popular app. People like using it or people use it because it's popular. I'm not sure which. Um, it's not one of my favorite apps, but um, it definitely looks a lot nicer than it did when it was on iOS 6. But I like the way it kind of springs up and down when you hit it at the top and the bottom. That uh, seems new to me. So another thing I wanted to show you is when you actually go in to share your location, if I hide my places here, you will notice um, that I can actually choose a 3D view now, which doesn't do a lot where I live, but um, it kind of changes the angle somewhat to make it a bit more like navigation. It's not massively changed. Um, there's also another thing that you can do is actually change your notifications. There are more notification ringtones than what you got before. Um, you'll see you've got all sorts of different options in here for notifications. But then you can change your new message. You've got all sorts of different alert tones in here. Um, and they all make use of iOS 7's brand new tones that we've been using for the last couple of months. Um, but like I said, that's pretty much it. All in all, not a major update, but it's nice to have it finally up to date with iOS 7. Now, if you want to download it, it's free. If you haven't already updated it through automatic downloads, check your app store now on your iPhone and it will be available. It's compatible with any iPhone um, running iOS 4.3 or later. Fully optimized with the iPhone 5. Only works with the iPhone, so don't try and download it on your iPod Touch or your iPad because it does actually need 
your SIM card to be in there and a mobile number to be registered. So that's it. I've been Cam. I'm at CIP underscore Cam on Twitter. If you want to ask me anything else about this app, please feel free. I'm at CIP underscore Cam. I will see you again soon.